I have the incredible honor to be here with HBA's founder, Peg Darty. And thank you so much for joining us at this amazing event, Peg. You're welcome. Okay, 35 years. If you had to identify a major contribution that HBA has made, of course there's been many more than one, but what do you feel has been the greatest contribution during the past three and a half decades? Trust. Trust among women. Trust to watch each other's back. We have nothing to fear. Um, and letting a formally very restricted industry, we put them on notice that we were coming. Oh, I love that. I love that. So we're standing here today under that cone of trust. Wonderful. Now, when HBA began, when you and the other <laughs> co-founders sat around a table and figured out there was a need for an organization that championed the importance of women leaders in the healthcare industry, the industry was very, very different. Um, we've had to adapt to a lot of changes over the years. And just like business in general, if the environment changes and you don't adapt, you don't survive. Mm -hmm. So what would you see as one of the most significant ways in which HBA has adapted? Well, we started around a luncheon table in 1975, and we all five of us came from five different areas within the industry, and all, did, all had the glass ceiling. And we were willing to take a chance with losing our jobs. Many of us were threatened. Um, but we wanted to have all of us on an even, even par salary, compensation, benefits, which many of us were not entitled to. Well, I want to thank you, and may I hug you? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Peg Darty, founder of HBA. Thank you. Thank you.